Anybody with legacy Garmin portables has run into this or potentially run into this. Some other people have addressed this in the past. The main issue isn't so much getting the units to work, it's supporting them in terms of some of the peripherals or software or any of that stuff. Well, long story short, this came out of the 182 behind me a while ago. Didn't really think I was gonna have a use for it, but put it aside because they're still useful. I've flown thousands of hours with this thing and it's saved my but a few times. So I'm a big fan, you know, it makes a lot of sense. And there's some really good features. What I'm trying to do right now is run GPS signal to my ELT in the bird dog. This is the perfect device to do it. And it also gives me situational awareness, moving map, all that stuff. Yes, I have an iPad, but this is great for RS-232 out, plain and simple. There's a connector on the back. Many of you have run into this. Some of the support equipment for it's not available. I'm trying to crack the code right now on making a new one. The one that I had that I needed for this installation with the bare wires, I gave away to a friend and now I need another one and then they're hard to find. So long story short, I'm making my own. I don't know if it's gonna work. It has power ground and data out, which is what I need. Let me show you a little bit what I'm doing. This is the face of the connector that goes in and that's a proprietary Garmin piece. I removed the uh, molded rubber backing to expose the pins and I was able to extract the original Garmin pins using some uh, connectors that I had, some Molex style connectors, I was able to crimp on new wires and I'm gonna attempt making a back shell or some kind of housing for this. So wish me luck, let's see how it goes. Okay, here's what I've done. I've crimped on the new connectors. I've populated them into the plug per the pinout diagram. And now I've taken a piece of shrink tube and I've attached it around the outer edge of the housing. And I'm gonna go into the back now and fill it or bed in the, uh, the wires to the back of the connector with an adhesive. And I think what I'm gonna use is JB Weld. And once that cures up, I'm gonna go ahead and shrink the rest of it. Let's see how this works out. Okay, so I've checked and double checked that I populated the pins on the correct color wires that I wanted per the diagram. I'm gonna mix up some JB Weld Quick, and then I'm gonna open this up like this right here and pour it down in there. And then I'm gonna slide another piece of shrink tubing inside just to add some additional structure. And then I'm gonna shrink it all together. All right, let's see how this works. And I apologize, I don't have my normal camera set up, so I'm kind of improvising. Hopefully this works out. making sure my wires haven't pushed out. Still see the connectors in there. Yep, still good there. Trying to make sure all that stuff works its way all the way down. I'm gonna help it with that piece of shrink tube right there. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the way that came out. I mean, it's not a factory made part, but dang, I think that's gonna work. What do you guys think? All right, that's pretty awesome. I'm super excited about this. I know it's not a big deal, but I've been trying to figure this out for a long time. So let's test it out. The new connector is plugged in with the uh, power and ground and I'm just coming into a power supply here. Let's see what happens. So I got a voltmeter uh, displayed right there. There's the voltage output. Oh, that's so awesome. Look at that. It's working. Yes. Hey. 
Heck yeah. I'm pretty excited. It's just, it's stupid, but it's cool. It took me so long to figure that out. And, uh, well, it works. The only thing I would need to check is the uh, serial cable. I know it's pinned out, right? So yeah, the only way to do that is with a laptop computer and open up a terminal and, and look at the, uh, the raw code, which uh, I've done in the past. I'm not gonna do it right now. Super neat. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think and we'll see you next time. And here it is installed in the airplane. Obviously the wires are not routed yet. They need to go behind the panel. Plenty of clearance back there. Yeah, that'll work. And of course, plenty of clearance. Tefcel aircraft wiring, arguably better than the original.